Welcome back to Marcus at Work Media. So, how do you think Drake feels when even billionaires don't fuck with Drizzy? Now, while BBL Drizzy was me mugging DeMar DeRozan on the sideline and calling him all kinds of names with the broadcast and making a big spectacle at the celebration and ceremony of Vince Carter, the owner of the Sacramento Kings, this guy, decided to show how he feels about the Raptors and Drake by sporting a custom-made They Not Like Us t-shirt. That's right. So who you think he's siding with? Now, this is a special slap in the face for Drake, considering he brought the whole team he brought the whole Toronto Raptors team to the game in Air Drake in his custom Bowen jet to show them he's with the team that much just to get there, create a spectacle of himself and get shitted on by the owner of the Sacramento King. So I know Jamar, that everybody wants you, every team, every city, all the players, but I got one thing to do. Nothing like us. <laughs> <laughs> now, hold on, hold on, hold on real quick. Let me pull up that Joe Button clip that said it the best. About him. But all that standing at the game, the ice grilling, the face, the, so the, the mumbling under the breath. Like, we niggas and we respectful, so we ain't going to say it. But <laughs> you a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Like it ain't, I ain't even about to try to sit here and do a bunch of unpacking. <laughs> Use <laughs> like Joe Button didn't want to throw shade at him, man. He didn't want to throw shade at him this time, so he let the team go ahead and handle that. <laughs> but that's what everybody thinking about, man. This is, you, you have to like a bitch out here, dog. We, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Can't catch a break, man. So I noticed he not only wore this shirt, which I missed the whole thing because I was too distracted by Drake's shenanigans. And this is not the first time he's quoted not like us. Now, see, not all owners connect with their athletes in their team this way this is the kind of owner i can get behind because he not only signed DeRozan, which was a value add to the team but he also stood behind him even though he was playing his previous team to show how much he don't f with the other team are drake <laughs> Hey, Drizzy, man, man, you better get with the billionaires over there at UMG and try to get try to get some billionaire beefing going or something, man, because you've just been outranked. <laughs> not only did k Dot spank you on the beef, not only did the Sacramento Kings spank your team, and you get shitted on by the owner on top of that. Damn, Drake. So all of that said, I got a question for the audience. How many L's do you think Drake is gonna be taking from now to the end of 25? He's already took long L's in 24. That's done. Going into 25 with the Super Bowl and everything else, he got some more L's coming. So riddle me this, how many L's does it take to sink the career of BBL Drizzy. We about to find out. Put your comments below. Let's talk about it. This is Marcus at Work Media, and I'm out this bitch.